Dusty has come a long way, you guys. He's been around for an uncountable number of years. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to just like wreck people's apartments. Then we grew up a little bit and moved on to wrecking people's performance spaces. <laughs> now we just actually perform in people's spaces without wrecking them. Nothing has broken during this entire production, as far as I know, but I haven't been here very much. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> oh no, I fucked it up. <laughs> but, really, I am just so excited to see all these people here. Ready to see this show? I can't actually see most of you, but I'm very excited. Give yourselves a moment. Alright, I think that bought us enough time. The next scene, scene number four, is called The Ultimate Question. It was written for the January 2017 BYOT, which had the theme, The Ultimate Question. <laughs> and it was written by Vanessa Buholzer. Yeah. Everyone, put it together! meticulously planned out, but yes, tonight would be helpful. Well, if we can get into risottos, I was thinking the lemon caper sea bass with roasted asparagus for me, and the grilled prawn fettuccine for you would complement each other nicely. Grilled prawns? Yes, don't scoff. I didn't scoff, I was merely asking a question. But if we can't get in there, I don't know, I guess we could always go to chop and roll, although it's a little loud there. Loud? It's like they use trash can lids for shoes. Don't over-exaggerate. No, I hate Fine, fine. I'm sorry. If we must go to the chop and roll, what are we having for dinner? Why are you getting frustrated with me? I always pick where we're gonna eat. You always just ask the question. Why are you attacking me? You're all so fickle about the food. I just let you choose. It's easier than fighting about it. Excuse me? I just mean I would much rather not fight about this stupid shit like what we're gonna eat. Okay, it's literally, literally, something we do three times a day. That's 21 meals a week. That's 1,092 meals a year, not including sickness. Nice math. Thanks, or, you know, <laughs> large meals, or holidays, or whatever. How did we get here? here? What? Uh, I don't know. You're the one that's driving. No. <laughs> I'm not here on this road. We got here by taking the Ravenswood instead of Damon. Too many goddamn lights. But how did we get here? I guess I'm actually trying to have a deep conversation with somebody for once. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, this time I night you probably hit all the lights, but now you gotta stop every 200 feet for a stoplight. No, I think it's about, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's about choices, but both having them and feeling like we don't have them. Like taking Damon instead of Raven? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> 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 See, you say, we may have called the lights tonight. Yeah, well, that might be true on some level. Are we supposed to catch the lights tonight? If we aren't supposed to get to our destination that quickly, maybe stopping at stop signs is better than speeding past green lights. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you seen the video of this cute goat? <laughs> Right. 
choices. I mean, if you want to talk about choices and the effect they have on your life, then you need to think about what you really want. I mean, do you feel like you, you feel like you truly lived? lived? Not this again. <laughs> I feel like I've lived a decent amount as best as I can so far. <laughs> well, what about all the things we talked about doing? I mean, skiing in Colorado, that whale watching cruise up in Alaska. Hell, we haven't even been to movies in the park and we work right there. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you know I don't sit on grass. That's why they invented blankets. Fine, fine, we'll see a movie in the park. So long as it's not animated or has subtitles. <laughs> but what about all the other things that I mentioned? Or the slew of other things that we should be doing to truly live? What makes doing these things truly living? I mean, why do you have to be defined by some bucket list that you most likely found on Pinterest? <laughs> <laughs> okay, call it what you want, but I call doing those things living. Truly and deeply living. You know, experiencing something other than the everyday. All we really have are these vague plans for the future and vague memories of the past, but the more that I do, the more that I see, the more that I can convince myself that I didn't just waste my time planning out our meals. So, if I told you that my truly living is just our day-to-day, -day, normal, albeit sometimes lackluster lives, would, would that not be enough for you? Are you saying that our eight years that we spent together have been just, how did you put it? Vague memories? Well, fuck you, Gina. Because our life together is so much more than that. And if you can't see past your ideas of truly living, then maybe I'm not the person you should be with. Maybe you're not. Yeah, well, maybe. Fuck! <laughs> All right, Sierra. Fan fucking tastic. Well, what should we? What? What? Just. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Well, the app says we give them two minutes and they'll come on. Before then, we just continue on to your destination. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, isn't it? What's ironic? <laughs> I mean, here we are, talking and having this great conversation about choices and where they lead us. And here we are, four different people with four different choices. <laughs> I mean, does it get any better than that? doesn't get any better than this. Maybe. You know, if you could just... If we could just talk about these things more often instead of just ignoring them because they're awkward. Okay. You mean that? I truly do. Oh, so now you want to make decisions. <laughs> <laughs> 